oh wow this is a rough start to a vlog hello guys it is me Bridget looking rough as ever and today I'm going to do a vlog because a couple of you guys requested it and I don't know what else to film today so it is about 7 30 in the morning there is an antique auction about an hour from now um so Daniel and I are going to go to that because on the listing site I saw a Bogart and McGall poster, like a little mini advertisement for to have and have not, and I must own it. So we're going to go to this antique auction. Um, a funny story, not funny at all, um, this antique store has been shut down for like two months because the guy died. Um, there was a murder, <laughs> like no kidding, um, guy and then his wife ran an antique store that was attached to this antique store. like. It was in the front corner was hers, and on the side corner of the big old building was his. And I guess she was dating some guy. Like, the police station put him on blast for this crap, but um, she was dating some younger guy. She was probably in her mid-50s. They are both in the mid-50s. She was dating some guy in his, like, late 20s, early 30s. Uh, they staged a home invasion, which apparently was not very well staged, and then smothered and uh, then shot the older gentleman who owned the antique store on the corner to death and then claimed like, oh, it was a break-in gone wrong, blah, blah, blah. She claimed she was attacked and all that, but the police didn't fall for it. And now her and her, I guess, ex-boyfriend now are both in jail. And now they're deciding to pawn off everything or to auction off everything inside of this antique store, which makes sense. Um, this antique store is actually, it's like, it's, I wouldn't say it was extremely popular, but Daniel and I went to it a lot because we thrift an antique and stuff. It's actually where Daniel found the exact model camera we needed for my Winona uh, Ryder Beetlejuice Lydia Dietz cosplay, which I will leave a picture of right here. We got the camera from there. The guy only charged us like 10 bucks for it, which was awesome. And we've got a couple other things through the years just because we live so close. So, yeah. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to do my face now because I only have about 30 minutes to get around because your girl woke up late. But look at this sweater, you guys. Ah, look at this sweater. Look at this sweater. I, I really love this sweater. We got it on Black Friday from H&M for like 20 bucks. And it's out of the men's section. So if you guys go to H&M looking for it, it's men's. So. I'm going to go put my face on now because I feel really weird. Also, my voice is still messed up from being sick, but I am feeling better. Okay, so I'm so late that my eyelash is crooked, and I have no lipstick on, but hopefully this goes well. I don't like being in front of people when I'm alone. Daniel decided he wasn't coming with me, so I gotta do this awkward social thing by myself. Alright, so I'm late. It's like 9.02. There's like so many people outside, I can't even get to that road to park on. Parking downtown is literally the worst thing, even though there's no one here. Like, the roads are open. And empty, but there's like no parking spots. Alright, so I came home and Daniel's in the shower because, well, he needs to he needs to buy this stuff for me from the auction and I found something I want for a video, like seems like a really cool video idea. Um, hopefully you guys like it when I finally put this out. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now just in case I don't get the box of things. Um, but now I'm home, I put lipstick on and I'm watching Poblux's new video with Asri. Asri, be good. Alright, so Daniel is going to get a haircut, and it's like a small shop, so I'm sitting here like, maybe I should just wait instead of like driving out to go do something else. The auction went fine. I did not get what I wanted. It was a box of old letters from 1908 to 1925, like all from the same person, like someone's old mail, and they never even opened some of the letters from certain people, so I was like, that's really cool. I could do like a, a reading old mail video. I thought that'd be fun. Also, I was just intrigued on what was inside the letters because they were like 100 years old almost. Um, but I didn't get it because I bid 35. And apparently, starting off the bid high is a bad idea because people think you show interest in it and then they want it for themselves. 
still went up to 50 and I couldn't do it. it was, um, above my price range. It should never have started out the bid. They were selling huge cabinets of like antiques and plates and stuff for like $5. But as soon as you show interest in something, it goes up. Because I was like, I don't want to wait all day for this box to get sold. Can we put it up there? I'll go ahead and bid 35 on it. Bad idea. Anyways, I'm in a very bad part of town. Feeling really weird vlogging myself. I don't know how to vlog. This place is so not for me because it's literally attached to an old dollar general there's a barber shop down there and then there's a check cashing place i feel a little bit out of my element but you know if daniel likes the barber shop he likes the barber shop so excuse my dirty freaking car but daniel bought these two boxes of stuff here so this first one he bought because there was this pen in it and it's a fountain pen um I don't know anything about fountain pens, but it has like a really nice weight to it, and he thinks it's really cool. So he got this box for that, and then we got all these things in here that were like razors and stuff, but they're empty, so that was kind of a bummer. And there's like some other miscellaneous stuff. I don't even know what's in here. There is like a pocket knife and stuff. And then this is the second box he got for $2, because it had like... Some really cool just little trinkets in here. There's some really old keys and like little scissors and stuff. So. So Daniel showed interest in the box with a pin in it. That's the only thing he wanted out of the box. And it went for $22.50 I think. And that's because he showed interest in it. He was like, hey, we don't want to sit here all day. Can we go ahead and bid on this box right here? We'll give you a $10 starting bid for the box. And some guy thought there was something good in there and it went for $22.50 which is fine the pen's very nice and then the other box with all the tools in it like all the buttons and stuff I just showed you went for two dollars for the whole box so it's like once you show interest in something people know you want it they want it for themselves like oh I wonder what's in it kind of irritating but you know 27 bucks for both boxes not a bad deal do you see that he's got a bucket attached to his bike. I probably only got like an hour of sleep last night so next time Daniel asks me if I want to go with him for Virginia I'm saying no because it's been two hours and I'm tired and I still don't feel 100% but if he doesn't come out soon I might just leave him here. I don't know. Speak of the devil. Oh my god Daniel it's been forever. I miss you so much. I missed you for two hours. Oh my god. He's gonna be so mad that I'm filming him. $40 is too much for this, right? I don't know. I like it. Probably shouldn't have got it. All right, so we are home. I'm home to my babies, who I missed very much. I'm not used to being away from them. Oh, okay, that's how it is. Hmm. Um. Anyway, today was a. Uh, a good day. It's been a very long day. My face is all broken up and oily and I'm ready to take this makeup off. Um, but Daniel did give me a fun gift. We were in a mall and we split up and he ended up in Sephora looking for hair products and skincare and he got me a present and I already know what it is. I a peek. But he got me the Anastasia Ambrizy highlighter and I'm very excited about it and I made sure it wasn't broken before I left because that has happened to me before. So, super fun gift. Pretty good day, very long day. I'm very tired. Um, I didn't really sleep much last night, so I'm not looking my my best here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope to see you in the next one. I will do the boxy charm unboxing for December tomorrow, so you guys look forward to, and I will see you guys then. Bye.